The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Wall types and ratings. This is for interior walls only. Firewall. Firewalls are the most stringent type of wall you can have. It's designed to separate two construction types or two building areas. Essentially, if you use this wall, you have two different buildings, even though they may appear to be touching or joining each other. So therefore, you can take advantage of the height and area ratio if they're two separate buildings. With a firewall, as illustrated here, the wall must stand on its own, independent of the structure it's adjacent to. So either firewall could fall down without affecting the other firewall. So another firewall that we commonly see is one that is one single wall and it's self-supporting up to a height. So either side of the structure could actually fall as the one above and the firewall would remain intact. So in no way can the structure on either side support the firewall or be a part of it with any more than flashing. With the one above, you could also have flashing in between and you would really not know the firewall exists. This can be used for wood type construction as well as steel and can span and increase your building perception area. Fire barrier. So we have our structure below and our structure above. Fire barrier goes from structure floor to structure ceiling or floor above. Fire barriers, on the, unlike fire walls, do not have to be in alignment. A fire wall does have to be in alignment because it has to be, have its integrity all the way to the ground. So a fire wall can also separate construction types. Fire partition. So again, we have our floor below and our roof or structure above. A fire partition should go from structure to structure. The difference between a fire barrier and a fire partition is a fire partition can be made out of wood. A fire partition could actually, you could create a tunnel such as this and it not be a floor above. The code actually states with a fire barrier it must go from floor to underside a structure or floor above. You cannot have a tunnel such as this with a fire barrier, only a fire partition. Smoke barrier. A smoke barrier also can go from structure floor to structure above. They do not have to be in alignment from floor to floor. A smoke barrier could either be made out of a fire barrier or a fire partition. Again, fire barrier is non-combustible material. A fire partition could use internal structural combustible material. A smoke barrier, only difference between that and either one or the other is that a smoke barrier has fire smoke dampers in it to limit the transmission of smoke. Then we have a smoke partition. A smoke partition is just that. It is a partition. It could go from the floor to deck above with rock or drywall on one side. It has no rating, no fire rating at all, and it only limits the transmission of smoke. So you could have an ACT ceiling on this right side here, but an ACT ceiling is very unlikely to meet the requirements of a smoke partition only because there is not enough weight typically to a smoke partition um, ACT ceiling. Typically it's about one pound per square foot is what's required with clips. Typically we see drywall enclosing this area and no dampers are required at all in a smoke 
partition. Be careful. Many engineers think it's required. It is not required. So essentially here is how we're getting our smoke partition. That's the line of it. So we just need to define it and it just limits the transmission of smoke. So let's refresh. A firewall is the most stringent type of firewall out there and typically it separates construction type or allows you to increase your building area because it is considered a total separate building when used appropriately. Fire barrier is used to separate occupancies and or other small areas such as a storage room or other items within a non-combustible type of building. Fire partition can be used for the same thing a fire barrier is used, but it's allowed to use wood, i.e. combustible material. In the previous two videos on smoke compartments, a smoke barrier is used in I2, I3, and B ambulatory type buildings. It can be used in other types, but very rarely and it's only where it's called out it should be used. A smoke barrier typically should go from outside wall to outside wall. Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at martyhuey.com.